Jeffrey Tubin is a well-known CNN legal analyst and also a famous attorney that wrote the best-selling novel Run For Your Life, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, which is now American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, FX television series. And joining me today from New York is Jeffrey Tubin. Jeffrey, hi. Greetings from Las Vegas. Uh, hi, Jeff. Uh, I wish I were there, but then I always wish I'm in Las Vegas. Hey, I have to say right off the bat, Jeff, I am a huge fan. I watch CNN every day. I feel like I know you, and I'm just such a big fan. How to get, get just gush over you real quick. It's a nice thing to say. Thank you. Now, this series has just really struck a chord with the American people, and mostly for, as we look back on this case, that the defense used that racism was the main cause of this, that the LAPD set up O.J. Simpson. It's almost like, you know, 20 years later, Ferguson and everything, that's all the racial unrest that's going on right now, this is still a timely issue. Well, that, that's what's so amazing about the timing of American Crime Story is that it comes on the hails of Ferguson, Baltimore, Chicago, Staten Island, all these cell phone video cases that we're so familiar with and the theme of both The Run of His Life, the book, and American Crime Story, uh, the series is race in the criminal justice system and how it can be used and abused, but how African Americans have a very different experience of dealing with the cops. And we see that in the mid-90s in this case and 2016 today. Now, as an attorney, you deal with facts. And when you are researching your book and documenting the trial of O.J. Simpson, it is the facts. You try to get you know, personal accounts and get everything right, but this is a television series. So was there a dramatic license? Where do you find that fine line between drama and factual reality? Did you have many discussions on this? Well, you're right. I, I, my book is journalism, and my book was a good faith attempt to be 100% accurate to what happened. The dramatization on American Crime Story is different. It is certainly, in, to my knowledge, very true to the spirit of the times, to the personalities of the people involved, to the, the truth of what went on in that courtroom, but they don't use the exact court transcript. There are certain events that are combined and foreshortened. I think it's a uh, very fair, um, dramatization, but it is a dramatization. So many offers have to consider big offers from Hollywood studios to take their book and transfer it to the big screen or to a television series. When you were writing this book about the trial of O.J. Simpson, were you approached? Was there a lot of uh, interest in your book way back then and even today? Well, it's funny that you say that. There, there were a lot of conversations about it, but people always said two things about the O.J. Simpson case. One is everybody knows the whole story anyway, and two is people are sick of it. So that led um, people to shy away from doing a dramatization immediately afterwards. But years passed and I always wondered, it's like, how could you turn down this story, this incredible drama? And finally, Ryan Murphy, who is you know, the genius behind American Horror Story and Glee, he said, look, this, is, this story is right in front of our eyes. You know, let's do this. It's such, it's so, in a way, it's kind of a no-brainer. And then he assembled this remarkable cast, John Travolta, David Schwimmer, Sarah Paulson, Courtney Vance. And, and you know, it, it's just a perfect example of how when good people go to work on good material, you know, great stuff happens. Now, most people are not going to be satisfied with this adaptation, especially the Goldman family. And I saw them recently on an episode of Dr. Phil where they were criticizing this television series, but they said they hadn't even seen it yet. Do you think that's fair? You know, I love the Goldman family. I was on Dr. Phil with them. And, you know, their complaint is with the fact that their son and brother was murdered and O.J. Simpson got away with it. They're not, re I mean, I don't mean to speak for them. Their grievance is not with FX. They are reasonable people. They didn't want to see the story exploited. And I think now that the series is out and, and you know, tonight is episode four, I think they've seen that it is an intelligent, not exploitative um, examination of the story. But I, I have no grievance with the Goldman family at all. These are very good people who suffered an unimaginable tragedy. Now, as the author of this book and now a big time FX television series, did you work closely with the screenwriter? Were you there on the set every day? So what was your role once production started? Yeah, well, I worked with the screenwriters. Uh, I read the scripts. I, I was on the set 
several times, but certainly not for the whole five months it took to shoot. I talked to the actors a lot about their characters because some of them um, wanted to talk to their real life counterparts, some of them didn't. It was just a, um, um, it was a very organic process and you know it was a long shoot, five months, and so the characters developed this real chemistry that I think allowed them to explore the complexity. You know, a lot of people think they knew Marsha Clark or Johnny Cochran, but you know, you don't until you, re you see this story. This is like a dream team cast. Uh, I was wondering if you had someone specific in the cast that you admired the most in their portrayal of one of the lawyers or one of the family members. I love John Travolta in this. I just think he is such a superstar. He just blew me away in this. You know, I, I, I uh, think Travolta is great. When I first met John Travolta on the set, I thought to myself, wow, this is what a movie star is like. I mean, he has this incredible charisma both on and off camera. I think my favorite actually, and, and you haven't seen it yet if you're watching the series live, Courtney Vance as Johnny Cochran and Sarah Paulson as Marsha Clark are so great and their stories uh, and their characters are so rich and complicated. Those to me are the most um, surprising and interesting portrayals. All right, here's the big question, Jeff. A lot of people are going to watch this in years from now and think that this is the actual true account. I mean, look what happened with Oliver Stone and JFK. Everyone who watches that thinks that exactly what happened with the JFK, JFK conspiracy. So how are you now situated to think that maybe years from now people will think this is the real events and everything in this TV series happened for real? You know, I, I, I'm not the truth police. I, I think people are going to believe what they want to believe. One of the things I, I long ago recognized about the O.J. Simpson case is that trying to persuade people that something is true or something is untrue is a futile enterprise. People believe what they're going to believe, and I, I, don't, I, I don't have a problem with that. And if they use this series, that's a heck of a lot better than using the rumors on the Internet or, or all the craziness that has surrounded this case as, as your basis for thinking what's true. Well, Jeff, congratulations on the success of your book and the miniseries on FX. And uh, you know what? Come visit us in Las Vegas soon. We'd love to have you back. I'll be there. So long, Jeff. You too. Thanks for talking to me today. All right. For more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. And also, if you like what you see, please comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to, <laughs> don't forget to check out The People vs. O.J. Simpson on FX right now. I think it's Tuesdays at 10. Of course it is. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard. I'll see you next time.